And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Starfield. We're going to be doing some more side questing. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I wonder how the company feels about that. I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye on your. A fair amount of business runs through Hope Tech.
nothing ever good. Just keep it. You know, I tried Aurora once. I did not enjoy the experience. Hey there, got an update for me? Good work. Now I can let Masako know how much she'll enjoy watching the news tonight. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Masako was very pleased with the outcome. So she arranged the bonus through Linden. Apparently you said all the right things when it came to Arthur. Quantum Synergies actually reached out to us to negotiate the potential deal. You earned it. So, back to business. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is... Unlikely. Good. Luckily, there aren't many, besides the usual. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. You'll find the Trident Luxury Line Star Yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Remember, same rules apply. Don't get caught, and don't make a mess. I have heard 
much debate on whether Trident ships are overpriced. I have never flown them. Myself, so... I cannot be sure. Separated. Engage. You're out there a lot, right? Just the person I wanted to see. You got that schematic? Good work. R&D's been looking forward to this one. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process, but first, Ulara wants to see you. I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor, where her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve you have an appointment. I won't be far behind in case you get lost.
is this scene? It says something, does it not? That the executives wish to have everyone else physically beneath them? The Eugen CEO. Can I help you? Name an appointment. That's neither your name or appointment. So again... She's with me, Maeve. We have an appointment with Ularu. She should be expecting us. Thank you, Imogene. I'll mark you down as confirmed. Ularu's in a meeting with Genevieve, but they should be done any minute now if you want to wait right here. Thanks, Maeve. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. That leaves us with only one I've option. got my eye on you. God, Ularu, is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv, because you're too good at your job. Now, we can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine, but you can break this news to Alexis at our next meeting. Good, you're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do, and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments, and one specialized. And on top of all that, a flawless record. It's no wonder they love you up here. I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. She's the best operative I've ever hired. Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. Good, because if not, I can't imagine we have much use for you here at Ryujin. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game-changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So, his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So, if you have negotiation skills, use them. Oh, you'll get the information if you want to hang on to your job. Now, in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Jeannie give you the details on this one, because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point, he'll casually say, Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? Razor Derby is the only real sport. Yes, got it. You'll find him in Sidonia, so I hope your ship's fueled. Just look for him above the Luxcon- You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope she doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I always wondered what it would be like to see these famed red devils.
Macedonia. What a dump. You lost? Or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day is going? If only good thing worth talking about these days is sports. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Champion. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. At least you're being open about the fact that you are gouging us. Very well. If we are not presented with a more reasonable offer, we will be left with no choice but to take the information. I don't think Ryujin would be too happy to hear about losing one of their informants. Hmm. Well, I do not work for Ryujin, so I care little what they might think. All I care about is a fair price. All right, all right, I get it. You want reasonable? This is as low as I go. I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Getting information is what you people do. I'm just a lowly yet very well paid informant. Here to point you in the right. Oh, they will. What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. It's even got a catchy code name. Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling you, this Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell, you should be in the Astral Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. Ha! <laughs> That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally gonna put Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game. the earliest shipbuilders, and desperate to remain relevant. It's 
hard not to worry when your spouse is the one doing all the Very work. practical. To seal this off and make it habitable. Also rather visually pleasing. I never had the patience for computer systems. took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. Project Dominion? That can't be right. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see... Got the key, deciphering, and... done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. Project Dominion isn't an Infinity LTD prototype. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Any 
KM. Ularu? What is this about? Who is this? This is our latest junior operative. I sent her on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. <sighs> we need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Exactly. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so... I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. My company's future might be riding on this deal. My career will be over if this deal falls through. Good. You're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. Directive Theta allows for a third party to conduct the sweep. This way, the results can be objective. It's certainly a failing. But for now, we're focusing on redemption. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her. But he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. The risk is necessary and heavily mitigated. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program, completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off, and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. Directive Theta requires utmost secrecy for success. We don't know what connections the Mole may have, so we can't risk informing our security team. If you get caught, the guards will follow standard procedure and lock you up in a cell for questioning. Provided you don't provoke them. And I strongly advise... These are your fellow employees. We want this to go as smoothly as... At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, 
I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. That is an unnecessarily aggressive response to the objective, is it? Let me remind you that not only are we talking about innocent people, but these are also... It's in your best interest, as well as... In fact, as much as I appreciate the words of your associate here, you may be better off heading in alone. Any precautions to mitigate risk should be taken. You'll meet Nyx at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. I've got my eye on you. If you're waiting for him, Adventure you can fly away from. Is is that the same also? I'm here for you. Should you need me. I enjoy the attack. Take care of yourself. And just what is on your mind at this moment? You will be lost without me. Yes? You need something? It is always a pleasure. Never leave Neon. For someone in my business, there's. You got an appointment? Cause if not, consider this area reserved. Oh, yeah, Dalton's little errand runner. I've written up a program just for the occasion, but as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, I hope so. 
Maybe we can work something out. I'm glad you understand. You think I'm a pushover? Now pay up. I don't have all day. Sure, sure. I can wait. Back to business. I've written up... While you're snooping around in the tower, I just need you to hit up one more workstation on the way. It's Camden Cho's. Just run the same program on the slate I'll give you, and you're good. It's that simple. I hoped you'd see it that way. Like I said with Camden, all you've got to do is run this little beauty on Alaru Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. Whatever encryption Alaru has is bound to take some real work. More than my little setup here can handle. It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good... Here's the slate. I'll be waiting.
Good for you. Security. No sudden moves. Nice try, but the building is off. I hear you. Who did you say you were again? No, I don't. Enough talking. You're coming with me. Long here. I'm taking you down for quick. You want to do this the hard?
making things hum. Making things harder for yourself! You're not authorized to be here. I'm... <laughs> nice to... I'm the one asking. I hear you. I'm still willing to talk. Nobody wants that. I'm still willing to talk. Look, I'll trust you. But if any of us catch you on another floor, we'll shoot first and ask questions later.
So, you made it. Guess Ryujin's security really is slipping. <laughs> Just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the Trade Tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. The program I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. First, I'll just save off Mr. Cho's info. My client will very much appreciate that. Now on to Ms. Chen. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption. This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. Since you came through on your end, let's just say that slate isn't going to paint the best picture for Ms. Imogene Sauzo. But bear in mind, you're dealing with some pretty talented people when it comes to falsifying information. Don't be too sure about that. Imogene was practically raised in the corporate underworld. I'd almost guarantee there's intent behind everything. Here's the slate. As you... I assume success is in order. I had a few reports, but at least nothing that set off any red flags. I figured as much. Lucky for us, he doesn't have any motive to use this information against us. Now, let's see what we have here. Hmm. I didn't think it was possible. But someone's been accessing Naru's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. Press Nix was able to track all of this. Damn. A 
and there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off. She has the means, and access. But things are rarely so cut and dry. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. We have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. If she runs, the guilt will be apparent. And you'll have no choice but to dispose of her. As much as I'd like you to subdue her and bring her in, Imogene would never. She knows what fate lies ahead for those who betray this corporation and get caught. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, I'm sure you can tell by now, she isn't here, which is a shame since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. I'm not even sure that's any business of yours, but I do enjoy keeping close tabs on my counterpart. Dare I ask why you need to know? Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. I'd hate to see what's... Good luck finding Imogene. No Imogene, I see. Of course, Yuko would know. If Imogene's with the Syndicate, I can't just send you after her. You'll need to speak with Benjamin Bayou. We have to make sure he's aware of the situation. If we're lucky... Good. Because without it, this adds a complexity that we do. Head over to the Trade Tower. He may ask for... The sooner, the better. Just be sure to bring her back here in one... If she resists or tries to run, we have no choice but to take it. Imogene has the potential to... She knows the consequences of betraying. If the situation does take a turn for the worst, I only ask that you perform a thorough... I trust you won't let you.
recall sending for anyone. What do you want? No. You can always make time when it comes to an old friend. So, what would be the reason? I may consider Ryujin an ally, but Dalton especially knows I don't give anything blindly. As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves... I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free. Provided you do a little something for me. And what mutual benefit would that be? Of course. Ryujin's success always pays out when it comes to Neon Profits. I hear you. I'm trying to be reasonable here. All right. You talk a good game. And I suppose if we're looking at a mutually beneficial situation, there's no reason for me not to allow such a small favor. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters... I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities. Hope you're a paying customer. Oh, you're the one getting special treatment. Huh. I knew you was some. I've got one rule for you in there. So it shouldn't be hard. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around, and it's open season. That's what I like to hear. For the record, I'm only granting you access because I have to. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room almost straight ahead. sooner or later. Not that I thought I was safe, but I never expected anyone to just slip by all the syndicate here. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. Yeah? 
And I didn't look guilty before, based on those files you got from Nyx. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. An internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? You want evidence? I've got it. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind the desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. do that. The moment I step in that building, Dalton will lock me up, and Ularu will be on high alert. You really are naive when it comes to corporate culture. Once I'm back at Ryujin, Ularu will be looking to tie up any loose ends. So I can stay here and deal with you, or I can go back and deal with her. Which is why I'm hoping you'll take this evidence to Dalton. Of course you do. Look, if you just bring this slate to Dalton, I'm sure he'll understand. But if I go with you, everything is ruined. It's your choice. Do you want the truth? Or... I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And, I know you don't hear it much around the office, but... thanks. Look who's back. So tell me, what did you find out? <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. They know how to make a client. Welcome up here. Ryujin see. You're back. And Imogene? 
So you did find her, and yet failed to bring her in. I'm looking forward to this explanation. This evidence certainly complicates matters, if Imogene believes Ularu to be the true culprit. I hope she's willing to attest to this in person. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Once I've examined this evidence, I may need your help in moving forward. And not a word about this to anyone. I'll present what I have to the board once I've completed a full report. Don't wander into any restricted areas. This deal could be huge for me. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.